Here are the three clips we just recorded. Let's begin our discussion about audio editing by visiting Options, Preferences. Two tabs here of interest. The Audio tab, Waveform Display While Recording. We showed these waveforms as they were recording. You can choose, if you have a slower computer, not to show the waveforms, in which case, if we record on this track now, the wave is not displayed as we're recording, but the wave is recorded. The wave is not displayed as we're recording, but the wave is recorded. This field is where you tell Vegas the location of your preferred audio editor. In my case, it's SoundForge 8.0, and I've located it for Vegas. Consequently, when I right-click on a clip, I have the option to open in SoundForge or open a copy in SoundForge. Opening the original means that I'm going to do destructive editing and update that file. If I open a copy, I preserve the original and I make whatever changes I wish to make to the copy. And when I bring it back into Vegas, it comes in as a take. Note the difference in the wave as we cycle with the T key. Options Preferences Editing gives us the option to enable looping on events by default and to preserve pitch when stretching audio events. Also from the right-click menu, we can open this clip in the trimmer. We can select in Project Media List. We can apply effects to it. And of course, we can cut, copy, delete. We can create a subclip. And we can reverse as well. That's how Missy Elliott got that effect on her hip-hop clip. We can also apply switches, mute, lock. In other words, we can't move this clip along the timeline. And, of course, loop, invert phase, same as over here, and normalize, basically a volume maximizer. Didn't change that one very much at all. But look what happens if we normalize this wave. Now is the time... Now is the time. Quite a difference. Normalization should be used sparingly because not only are you making the wave louder, you're making all the noise behind the wave louder as well.